Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss this example. In this example we have to prove the power series expansion of this function is this one. And we have to prove it using a standard series f of z is equal to 1 upon 1 minus z. So let us start. Uh, so by I can write Maclaurin series. Maclaurin series. Okay, so it's a very standard function. And we are familiar with its expansion 1 upon 1 minus z is 1 plus z plus z square plus z cube plus and so on. And it is true for mod z less than 1. Okay, so with this condition we have the power series expansion. So let us write the same thing in this way 1 upon 1 minus z. I can express the same thing in the form of summation n running from 0 to infinity z raised to n with the same condition mod z less than 1. If you put the values of n 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on you will have this series again. Now I am going to differentiate both sides. Differentiating with respect to z. So let us see what will you get. I am differentiating left hand side. So it is 1 upon 1 minus z. In the same way I am differentiating right hand side also. But we know that this is a power series and it convergent. It is convergent and converges to this function. So if you have any power series which is convergent, then we can differentiate term by term. That means we can interchange summation and the derivative. So summation we can keep outside, right? And we can simply take the derivative of z raised to n. It is possible because the series is convergent, right? And uh, yes, by term by term differentiation. So what is this derivative? So we are familiar with this formula. Derivative of 1 by z is minus 1 upon z square. Same formula I am applying here. So it will be minus 1 upon whatever the denominator its square. But see we have 1 minus z. So by chain rule we supposed to take its derivative again, right? So let us write right hand side 0 to infinity. Derivative of z raised to n is n z raised to n minus 1. Okay. Let us go further. So what we have here, we have this term minus 1 upon 1 minus z square. Now I am taking derivative of this bracket. Minus sign is there, separate separate derivatives. Derivative of 1 is 0, no need to write and the derivative of z is 1. So simply we have minus 1. So let us talk about this summation now. If I put n is equal to 0, definitely we will have 0. So no need to consider 0. We can directly start from n is equal to 1 since n is equal to 0 is giving 0 to us. So that's why I will directly start n is equal to 1 to infinity n z raised to n minus 1. So minus minus plus so 1 upon 1 minus z square is equal to summation n running from 1 to infinity n z raised to n minus 1 obviously with the same condition that is mod z less than 1 okay so let me remove this part so we'll have some more space to write see now uh, what we want we want here bracket cube right now we have just bracket square that means one more derivative is required so let us differentiate again again differentiating with respect to z so let us take derivative again so derivative of so right now what will i do i am going to shift this bracket to the numerator so the power of this bracket will be minus negative getting so i have written the same thing but just i shifted this bracket to the numerator again i am applying the same result term by term differentiation that means that power series is convergent so that's why we can interchange derivative and summation and we can directly take the derivative of that function n z raised to n minus 1. So you know well how to take derivative. First of all, whatever the power, we should write it here and we should reduce the power by 1. So it will be minus 3. Let me show you which formula I've used. Okay. So the formula is derivative of z raised to n is n z raised to n minus 1. So here the power is minus 2. So that's why I wrote here. I reduced the power by 1. So I got minus 3. I will do the same thing here. So yes, yeah, same formula I'm going to use, but I want some more space to write. See, same formula. Summation. Uh, see, I forgot to write one thing. I need to take the derivative of this bracket again. 1 minus z. 
by applying the formula we have to take the derivative of this bracket by chain rule so apply the same formula here okay n constant as it is derivative of z raised to n minus 1 is n minus 1 z raised to n minus 2 okay let us see what will happen minus 2 is there as you can see this power bracket has negative power so let me shift that bracket to the denominator then power will be positive 1 minus z cube okay so after that let us take derivative minus sign is there separate separate derivatives derivative of 1 is 0 and derivative of z is 1 so we we'll have minus 1 here summation n running from see if i put n is equal to 1 here what will have if i put n is equal to 1 1 minus 1 0 so if for n is equal to 1 definitely we are getting 0 so i will skip that case i will start with n is equal to 2 to infinity n n minus 1 z is to n minus 2 so now some more space is required so make a screenshot of it then i will go further okay so see minus minus plus we will have and 2 upon 1 minus z cube we have right and summation n running from 2 to infinity what we have n n minus 1 z is to n minus 2 with the same condition mod z less than 1 okay so now i'm going to uh, do see replacing i am replacing n by k plus 2 okay so let us see what will happen so therefore 2 upon 1 minus z cube this is equal to summation what we have n is equal to 2 let me write here what we have n is equal to 2 but the value of n is k plus 2 we are replacing n by k plus 2 2 2 will get cancelled and we will have the value of k is 0 so i should write here k varies from 0 to infinity right n we are going to replace it by k plus 2 here also i will replace n by k plus 2 so k plus 2 minus 1 okay here also k plus 2 minus 2 okay let me remove this part let us see what will happen so this is equal to summation k running from 0 to infinity k plus 2 we have k 2 minus 1 1 and z is 2 plus 2 minus 2 cancel k so i got this one okay with the same condition mod z less than 1 but see k is simply variable at a place of k you can take i you can take l you can take n you can take m whatever you want so here i'm going to replace k by n okay so let us see what will happen if you simply replace k by n so n is equal to 0 to infinity n plus 2 n plus 1 z is to n with a condition mod z less than 1 okay so mod z less than 1 so in this way we prove that thing that expansion power series expansion of this function is the same thing we have got simply we need to interchange the brackets here okay n plus 1 first and then you can write n plus 2 so this is the required power series expansion so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you